Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, YouTube, um, my name is Blaze Blaze Shadowthorn, and I'm here with another narrated X and Y Wi-Fi battle. This one was a battle I had back in my stream. This was a kind of OU match. The guy, he has, uh, his team, he wasn't really sure what tiers were, so, you know, I just threw together some UU and some OU stuff. This, uh, so, you know, I brought, a uh, scarfed Alakazam, a scarfed Porygon Z, and a scarfed Zoroark, because three scarfers gotta get that speed. I brought a Mega Alakazam, a Expert Belt, uh, Mian Xiao, and then a defensive, um, Skyrim. And over on his team, he brought the, uh, this, uh, Smirgle, which I thought would be Sticky Web, you know. He has three potential Megas, I assume, just looking at his team, that Mawile would be his Mega, but at the same time, nobody really brings regular Charizard, like, ever, so at the back of my mind, I was thinking, maybe the Mawile isn't his Mega. Jolteon is always threatening. Titar, I always had trouble with Titar in X and Y, but lately, I've been be able, I'm able to deal with it more often than... And not so, you know, it's not nearly as big of a problem. But anyways, I'm gonna lead off with my Mancho as he leads off with his um Smirgle. And right off the bat he goes for fake out, which I actually think is pretty awesome that he's not using the um that he's not using like the setup spore stuff, that he actually using Technican fake out Smirgle, which I'm I'm I think I might actually try that. I'm going to mess around on Showdown and see if I can find a tier for that. So anyways, he's going to switch out into his Charizard after I knock out the uh, Smeargle. I miss my Stone Edge, which is unfortunate. He's able to smack me in the face with a, a Dragon Claw. Now right here, he switches, which is pretty good play. He goes out into Jolteon. Uh, I think I... No, I just go straight for another Stone Edge. I thought I predicted the switch go for a high jump kick, but nah, I just go straight for a Stone Edge. Um, then the Jolteon's gonna outspeed me, go hit me up with a Thunderbolt, and that will be the end of me and Chat, which is unfortunate, but... So the miss kinda was unfortunate, but at the same time, oh well. So right here, I'm gonna go out into my Skarmory, and you're, 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 I know what you're thinking. Why would you go out into Skarmory on a um, Jolteon? And then you, then you think to yourself... When did Skyrimory learn Night Days? And then it hits you. <gasps> this isn't a Skyrimory. This is a Zorark. But he goes into Charizard thinking it's still um still a um a Skyrimory because it looks like a Skyrimory. So he's gonna go for Fire Blast or f not Fire Fire Blast. It's a flamethrower and the illusion wears off. And <gasps> it's a Zorark. Peekaboo! I see that fabulous blue hair of yours. So he's gonna switch out and he's gonna go on to his T Tar because um it's it, it can eat up a night days. He doesn't know I'm choice scarfed at this moment, but I am. So I just won't go for another night days. I have no reason not to. And it does absolutely nothing to this um, Tyranitar because you know Tyranitar just sits back and eats hits. So I'm forced to switch. So I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into the real Skarmory this time because you know if he wants to set up rocks, that's fine. If he wants to earthquake, that's also fine. I can um I can avoid that. But it actually turns out that Tyranitar is his mega. I never saw that coming. I never ever see Mega Tyranitar anymore. And then it turns out he goes for the Dragon Tail, which is like, oh my lord, that that's that's just and get, he gets a crit, but, you know, crit didn't really matter too much. But, anyway, he's gonna Dragon Tail me out into me my Mega Gardevoir, which is absolutely beautiful, because now, what I can do is I can Mega, and something on his team has to take a pixelated, boosted Hyper Voice, and I'll, I'll be blunt with you, nothing, nothing, not even Steel types like taking that hit. It, it's, it's a modest, uh, max special attack with, um... I prefer it's a lot. It's a lot. But he actually decides to stay and go for a crunch. That crunch does way too much damage. That just shows way too much damage. Like, I'm not fully invested in HP. It's split right down the middle with the uh, special defensive and HP because I figured that would be the best EV spread. I think it's like 130 in HP and like 126 in special um, defense or something like that. But anyways, I'm going to be able to knock it out with the Hyper Voice. And then the Charizard's going to be coming in and Revenge killing me off with the Flamethrower. It's unfortunate, but in the long run, it's not really that big of a deal. I'm going to now go back out into my Zorark. Now, nothing on his team can really take a Night Daze that well. So he's going to switch out. He wants to preserve his Charizard, I guess, for my Skarmory. 
and he's going to go out into his maw wild to resist the hit because, you know, fairy, all that fun stuff. I actually went for tricks. I wanted to see what um, item the Charizard was holding. So I was thinking maybe the Charizard would be Mega, and he just chose, he brought three Pokemon with Mega Stones. But it actually turns out that the maw wild also could be a Mega, but he chose to Mega Evolve with um, Tyranitar, so, you know, that's that. So, I'm going to switch out, go into my defensive wall, which is my Skarmory. I actually was kind of figuring, like, a Sword Stance or Sucker Punch, maybe even a Play Rough. So, but he actually decides to go for Rock Slide, then he decides to switch out, which, judging by that damage, I'm going to say it's a sheer force, and seeing how it, I didn't get the Intimidate drop, and I'm pretty sure no one uses Hyper Cutter anymore. So, anyways, right here, I'm just, you know, like, eh, I have no reason to live. Smack that thing with a Brave Bird, I am able to take, hit the incoming Charizard and knock it out, which is pretty cool. So, now I'm in a pretty good position, because, um... His Mega is down, his Charizard's down, and both were really big threats. Um, now that Milotic comes in, the Milotic, I don't really view Milotic as a threat, more as an annoyance. Uh, uh, he doesn't go for Skull, it's going to do quite a bit of damage, actually, so I'm just going to go for a Brave Bird. In hindsight, if I really wanted to, I could have gone for a, uh, a Roost, and probably then would have been at a range of HP where I could live the uh, another Skull and get off a Brave Bird. So I could have done that, but I really didn't feel like stalling at this point. I really didn't even want my Skarmory around anymore. I wanted to clean switch into something else. I think I wanted, like, um, Porygon Z or something, because I carry Thunderbolt on that, or um, I carry Thunderbolt where I could go for a Tri-Attack, Adaptability Boost, and all that fun stuff. So he's going to recover, which, you know, it's starting to be that, uh, that annoying uh, Milotic set. So I decided right here that, you know, just set up them late-game hazards. It's just, I don't even think he has, like, two or three Pokemon left at this point in time, so really, I just want to get up, like, Hazards on this, the last two Pokemon will not be as big of a threat, and as he just goes for a Scald now and knocks me out, that's fine, I really didn't need it anymore, so I decided to go now into my, um, my Alakazam, but wait, when did Alakazam get this much eight, uh, damage off, <gasps> I'm gonna, Alakazam's gonna go for a trick, he's gonna go for a trick, and he never gets what, he gets a Choice Scarf, and we get Leftovers, and the Milotic goes for a Scald, and never guess what, it wasn't an Alakazam. It was a Zoroark. Dun dun dun. It was a Zoroark. But unfortunately, Zoroark does hit the um, does faint. It, I could have gone for a Night Days, trying to do as much damage as I possibly could have. But really, I just wanted to get rid of the leftovers. Then uh, he couldn't be annoying and start like recover stalling me. So I basically crippled a wall there. But anyways. I decided to go for an energy ball. I really should have predicted the switch out into my uh, Mawile and gone for like a psychic or something, but I really wanted to go for an energy ball. And since I'm choice locked into energy ball, I don't want to stay in, obviously. So I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go into Porygon 2. Oh, it's so adorable. Just look at that. It's like little eyes. It's like bobbling up and down. It's so beautiful. But he gets a crit. He gets a crit, and that, that did decent damage, actually, considering it's it's just a Mawile. But now he's going to summon his Ducky Rage and go for a adaptability-boosted Tri-Attack, and I'm Modest Scarf, actually. I should be Timid Scarf, but I'm Modest Scarf, so, um, you know, take that as what you will. So, now he's going to bring back in the Milotic, as I'm going to go for another Tri-Attack, summon all that Ducky Rage, make his eyes go all mad, like and uh, do massive damage, that did good damage, as he goes for a Scald, is unable to knock me out, does not get the burn, fortunately, but overall it really didn't matter, because I'm going to go for one more try attack, knock it out, even if he did get the burn, knock me out there, I still have my Alakazam left, so, you know, that's that was a good game, it was, left me with the 1, the 2-0, actually, I think, so yeah, I had my Porygon and my uh, Alakazam left. So, you know, it was a pretty good game, so if you enjoyed this battle, you know, feel free to leave a like and a comment, uh, I'm now trying to stream at least once every weekend, um, trying, you know, so sometimes I might go a week without streaming, but, you know, that's always that, and also, also, well, we're on the subject of this, I recently just hit a thousand, a hundred, I almost said a thousand subscribers, oh, I almost hit a thousand subscribers, no, no, I'm just kidding, I just recently hit a hundred subscribers, you know, thank you so much for that, you know, it's, I really appreciate it, so. It's a good feeling, it's a good feeling, you know, I honestly, I know a lot of YouTubers always say this, I never expected this, but seriously though, I've been doing it for like three months, I never expected to reach 100 in three months, because the way I see it is, you know, my channel, there's like billions of channels on YouTube, right, and probably millions of those are Pokemon related, and of all those millions of Pokemon related uh, YouTubers, you know, uh, NBZ, Movo19, Moody Pones, Congressional Wombat, Shady Penguin, Magnitude, of all those, 103 people decided that they like my channel, which, you know, if you if you do the math, math statistically speaking, it's an incredibly small, like, 
percentage that people will find your channel, and it's even smaller percentage of channels that they'll like your channel over all the other people that have, you know, 50,000, hundreds of thousand, a million subscribers, like, you know, all the other popular things, so, you know, I really do appreciate it that I managed to reach the, the landmark of 100 subscribers, it's really fun, and I, uh, I hope to keep on growing and uh, improving my content for you guys, so, you know, enough of me rambling, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time, bye.